Hello and welcome to Projects Using the Top PHP Frameworks by Eduonix. My name is Brad Traversy and I'll be your instructor through this course. So in this course we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 PHP frameworks and we're going to be building an application using each one. Alright, so we have 10 sections which means we'll be building 10 projects. Uh, each section will have 6 to 10 lectures and each lecture will include one video as well as any project files from that lecture. All right, and we'll go over the different frameworks we're going to use in a minute. So what you should know before taking this course, uh, some HTML, CSS. Uh, basic PHP is definitely suggested, so just, you know, things like um, using PHP tags, variables, arrays, things like that. MySQL Basics, it's going to help you if you know at least some MySQL how to set up a database but you definitely don't need to know it to take this course uh, basic programming concepts so things like if statements and conditionals that that of course is going to help you out a little bit um, MVC model view controller it's not required for you to know but if you do that will help out a lot because most of the if not all of these frameworks use some kind of MVC design pattern so here are the frameworks and technologies used. We have Cake PHP, E2, Symphony, Code Igniter, Laravel, the Zend framework, Slim PHP, Net, PHP Pixie, and Fuel PHP. All right, so all of these are PHP frameworks, and they work in different ways. But there's also a lot that is very similar um, as far as how the how the files are structured and things like that. And if you have used one or any of these, that's definitely going to help you out as well. So the end result, after taking this course, you will have experience with 10 different PHP frameworks. And you should be able to, at the very least, build a CRUD application with all of them. All right, so an application that creates, reads, updates, and deletes uh, whatever resource that it may use. It could be blog posts, it could be uh, to-dos, or, or whatever else that you can think of. All right, so that's it for the intro. Hopefully you guys enjoy the course, and I'll see you in the first project.